many of the potential customer dropped their buying decision if they didn't find well informed related size information especially in size intense product like clothing and footwear i often found this mistake or can say lack of information even with the good brands as well this video is going to be really important or beneficial for clothing brands and sellers but surely it will give great ideas and learning to other niche sellers as well to showcase their information dynamically and in this video we are going to learn utilizing and creating size chart or you can say size guide by using meta object and meta fields to make your store even dynamic and meaningful hello guys i am gaurav and you are watching outbox ads on this note please subscribe the channel and like the video and please do comment after learning complete this video so without further delay let's start our first step for dynamic size guide step 1 create your size guide image you can create your size guide creative image easily in canva input information as applied according to your products and country here i created some size guide to demonstrate actually i implement these size guides to a shoes brand so play with canva use table layout and try to create your size guide creatives benefit of using image size guide creatives is it is easy to create and implement it fit properly whereas the html size guide require a good knowledge of coding to set properly on the page so go with the image creatives it is easy and simple make sure your size guide creative is in vertical format best for mobile devices should be in a good quality and well compressed before uploading as i said in every video please rename any image you upload in your shopify store you will thanks me later okay guys now let's start our next step in this step we are going to make uh, meta objects and meta fields so let's see how we can create this so first of all click on settings scroll down and here you will see custom data click on it came to bottom and here you will see the option add definition click on it and give it it name i'll just give simple name size guide and here you need to uh, add your fields so click on add fields and first field we add is single line text so you can write here its title and keep the rest of the settings same and please click on add button okay our first field is added it now add our second field for second field we are going to choose our file reference here it is file here we need to give our name i just give simple name Okay, name it and uncheck this video option. So only we only need image option checked and keep all setting remain same. And please add, click on add button. Now you can see our two uh, fields are completed and click on save button. Now let's move our meta fields. so let's create meta fields on product page because we are going to display our size chart according to products so click on products and add definition and here you can name it i just simply name it size guide and you can uh, write your description and click select type and here you need to choose meta object here it is meta object click on it and here you see reference drop down and you can see size guide we made earlier meta object that size guide keep it one entry and check on this store fronts and hit on save button our size guide meta field is already created Now let's see how we can make entries to these meta object we created. For that you need to click on 
content button content tab you can say and here you need to add entry click on add entry and here you will see the all uh, mat objects we created earlier so this time we created size guide uh, so we click on it i am uploading i am making this entry for men size guide so here i just simply write men shoe and here you need to select image click on it and on first tab we are created two these images one for men shoes guide and another for women and i already downloaded it and uh, compress it i just simply uh, select both and uploaded it okay for men i just choose men here it is men shoe size click done hit on save button so our first kent entry is created for men shoes size so let's see uh, how we can create our second for women the process is same click here add another entry and you can name it women shoes and select image on first entry we select men's shoes and for women of course we are choosing a women shoe size guide so click on it check it and click turn and our shoe size uh, women shoe size guide is created mat object is uh, filled and created hit save okay so our two entries are created uh, if you have another uh, product just like uh, men shirt women shirt or any other uh, size chart you want to display you just need to create this kind of uh, another entry like uh, uh, men shirt you need to create here men shirt and upload the men shirt size chart here just like we upload a uh, shoe size okay here you can see our two uh, size guide entries are created one for men shoes and another for women shoes in this size guide mat object and here is our all mat objects okay so here you can see two mat objects entries we created for size guide and rest of the rest of these entries for collection subcategories if you haven't watched uh, this video you can watch after this video it gives you even more ideas about implementation and display your different information dynamically in your Shopify store. So grab this advantage to make your Shopify store uh, even dynamic. Okay, for ease of process and next steps, I will use a premium Shopify theme on another store because in Dawn theme, the required features are not available. However, I will talk about for Dawn theme process as well in this video. So first, let's see the process for better understanding okay so let's start the best part of connecting with product page quickly before if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the like button and as i said for this process i am going to use a premium shopify theme because it has already required features to complete this process nowadays most of the premium themes have this dedicated size guide feature you just need to find in your settings of size guide and apply the same steps and here you can see the dedicated size guide setting available of this shopify theme in these settings i set it to display size guide pop-up link only if it has size option available otherwise size guide link will not appear this setting really makes sense now come at size chart image click on dynamic button and select size guide meta object we create earlier i hope this thing is clear to you rest you can comment below okay guys as you can see our size guide meta object is connected already but uh, our size guide pop-up link is not visible yet but wait video is not ended here as you can see no size guide link is appear here but why 
if you already guessed the answer please do comment it's really helpful and pleasing to read all of your comments okay well before that a quick info about my work if you want to build your new shopify store or want to redesign or quick setup new themes customization etc you can whatsapp me well let's see where is the problem the problem is a missing step of connecting meta objects entries to the related products let's connect them okay for that you you need to come on your products let's click on one product i have created here two uh, demo products one for women one for men and let's see how we can connect two meta objects to it first click on women's uh, use come down to bottom and here you can see size guide meta fields you need to click here select entries because this is the women's shoes and of course we need to uh, display our women shoes size to so click on it and click save okay so our first entry is connected you can say size guide entry is connected to this product women's shoes and let's connect to uh, men's shoes as well this is our men's shoes came down and do the same click select entry this time we will select uh, men's shoes hit the save button and done this step is uh, really important and often i realize uh, people miss this step to connect this and they just uh, straight go to uh, their product page and start checking whether the result is showing it or not but result result will not show because they didn't connect this and this is a really important that's why i uh, make this step like this so you guys pay attention to these steps as well so now let's check our demo product page what is showing uh, right now you can see here nothing is showing here let's refresh the page and now you can see here the size guide pop-up button is appearing start appearing and as you click on it the men's shoes guide is visible here here is the men's shoes guide cross it and let's check what happened to other product that is women's shoes and you can see here as well size guide is visible click on it and you can see women's size guide is visible on women's footwear now this is the actual dynamic way to show your size guide according to your product i know many dawn theme user store owners want same feature for their dawn theme stores as well but i must say as of now it's difficult to make similar pop-up size guide feature in dawn theme however i tried it for on theme as well but it's even harder to demonstrate on video because probability of possible mistakes are very high for general users but still if you are interested for the same for don theme you can whatsapp me for further information